Compound interest. Did you know that Albert Einstein once called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world? No lie. Google it. Look it up. How you doing? I'm Bill DeWeese, professional voiceover talent, voiceover coach, and voiceover demo producer. Welcome to my daily voiceover huddle. It's where we get together for a few minutes so I can share a thought, tip, strategy, something to help you make get traction push you forward to help you make money, to help you make more money in your voiceover career. And Mondays, we we call Motivational Monday. So the purpose is to, to give you something you kind of can kind of dig your teeth into, that you can hold on to, that can motivate you, propel you forward to get you through to the next Monday. So, you know, you don't have, you don't have to think about 10 years out down the road. You don't have to think about next month. Just as, let's make it today and then this week and then you know, next Monday, we'll get your tank filled up again and ready to rock and roll. Hey, thanks for checking in on the uh, on the live stream chat. I always appreciate it when you take a moment to let me know where you're watching or listening from this morning. And I hope you guys had a great weekend. It was like in the 80s here yesterday. Crazy, right? My wife was out pulling weeds. I helped a little bit, but we, so we, you know, we were outside and Vicky got actually got a sunburn yesterday. This morning, she said, I think I sunburned my neck. It's sore. Crazy. It's nice. I mean, nice that uh, the weather's finally changing. So happy about that. Well, let's, we're going to talk about compound interest, but let, let me kind of work up to that. Something I, I've said before, I'm going to say it again because it bears repeating. And this, it's a concept that once you really begin to internalize it, I think it'll change the way that you approach your voiceover business and career and can really make all the difference. And what you've heard me say before is that and I don't know who said it originally, I didn't make it up, but it, there's so much truth to it. And that is most people comp completely overestimate what they can accomplish in a day. You know, they come into something thinking they can do way more than they can do in a day. But by the same token, most of the same people very much underestimate what they can accomplish over the course of a year or more. So what that tells me is that as human beings, we, we tend to be wired for, you know, we want immediate gratification. I mean, we all, nobody would turn away short-term success, right? I mean, we all want that. Wouldn't that be nice? But in reality, the way things work is it takes, it takes time. It takes investment. <clears throat> when I say investment, I don't just mean resources and money, although that's part of it, but it means your time, your energy, your development. And it all works a little bit like, which brings us back around to compound interest. And again, Albert Einstein, <clears throat> Albert Einstein called compounding interest the eighth wonder of the world. Why? Well, let's let's take a look at that for a second because I think, and maybe you've been told this before, but if not, you know, I think once you grasp this concept and you apply it to voiceover, it will motivate you to keep moving forward because you can't look at what happens in your voiceover career over the course of a day or a week, or even a month and say, well, that didn't work. You have to look over, you, you've got to look at it over a longer period of time. So let's talk about compounding interest because this is a great, this is a great analogy. All right. So let's say you decide at some point in your life that you're going to begin to invest. And I hope that you are all, in, how many of you guys invest on a regular basis? I hope so. I hope so. It's, it's critical but that's not what this is about. But, but again, I think you'll get the, I think you'll get the, the correlation here. So let's say you decide you're going to invest 250 bucks a month. All right. For some, some, for some of you guys, not such a big deal for others, a very big deal. And there was a time in my life where that would have been a huge deal, but let's say you commit to doing that. So you invest 250 bucks, um, a month, and we're going to go, we're going to use, uh, the, over the, the historical, if you look at historically, the New York Stock Exchange from when it, its first inception up to now, it grows at a rate about, of t on average, there's ups and downs, but it grows, trends up at an average of about 10% a year. That's before inflation. So we're going to work with 10% as our, as our interest rate, all right? So over the course of a day or a week or a month, that 250 bucks, you know, by the end of the month, it's still, it, there's not much more than 250. So the next month you put another 250 in. But you commit to doing this over the course of time because you look at this as a long-term, a long-term investment. So over the course of 10 years, you faithfully put 250 bucks in the bank in your investment account, yielding 10% annual or compounding interest. What, what do you think? What do you think you've got by the end of 10 years? Well, you, you got 50,000 bucks. So it's like, oh, okay. 
Well, I can see now, and I don't know exactly what the principal interest is, but you've made a nice bit of money. In addition to the money you put in and saved, you've got some nice interest to go on top of that as well. So you think to yourself, okay, I like how that turned out. Let's do, let, let's do this for another 10 years. We're just going to keep, we're going to keep building, keep investing. Maybe I can turn this 50,000 bucks into a hundred thousand bucks by the end of another 10 years. So you invest faithfully over the next 10 years. Do you, have you doubled what you've had to a hundred thousand dollars? No, you've more than tripled it. Now it's, now it's right around $180,000. Okay. At that point, you're starting to get, you're starting to understand this concept of compounding interest. So you say, okay, I'm in this for the long term. Let's, let's do another 10 years because maybe I can turn this 180,000 into $360,000. So you invest, you invest faithfully at the end of another 10 years. Is it a 360,000? No. It's about $515,000. Well, at this point, you're getting really excited and think, okay, I really like how this compounding interest thing works because the longer I, I commit to the plan and I keep investing, that it keeps, it doesn't grow incrementally. It, now it's starting to grow exponentially. So then you get this crazy idea. Let's do it for another year. Let's see if we can get this thing up to a million bucks. So at the end of another 10 years, you know, you've got, you've got one point four or yeah, one point four, one hundred one million four hundred thousand dollars. And on and on it goes. So if you look at this on a graph, the principal, just the money that you put in every month, if you looked at it on a chart, it would incrementally go up like this. But if you looked at the interest that went along with that over that same chart over that timeline, it would it would run pretty close to the principal at first. And then after a few years it would start to break away. And then by the time you're getting way down the line, you're not growing incrementally, you've got a rocket that's going almost vertical, straight up. It's like, whoa. And the rate of growth is almost beyond comprehension. It takes time to build anything. You're not going to build a voiceover career in a day, in a week, in a month. It's going to take a few months to get any kind of traction at all. And it's going to feel like you're putting, you know, for a while you're putting X in and not getting anything back. But then you're going to be putting X in. Then you're going to start getting X back and you're going to think, well, at least I'm breaking even. But then what's going to happen is one day you're going to realize I'm putting X in, but I'm getting two X back. And then a little further down the line, you're putting one X of energy, your time, resources, you know, into this thing. And all of a sudden you're getting back three X and four X and you get further down the, the road and you build a career that you could have never possibly imagined, but it only happens if you take a long-term view, you have the proper training, preparation, you've got the right plan, and you commit, just like if you were investing and you put that money in faithfully every month, when it's easy to do it and when you have to sacrifice to do it, you just keep doing it because that investment, the principal, and it looks like this, it grows, but the interest on that after, after a while begins to go sky high. It works the same thing in anything that the principle, the principle of compounding interest will work in your business as well. So let me encourage you to hang in there. Take a long-term view. I've said it a million times. It's, this is not a sprint. It is a marathon. And if you can't treat it like that, you'll have nothing but frustration. And frankly, you should probably look for a job. But if you want to build a career, if you want to build a business that has a lot of meaning for you and your family on down the line, then get the proper training, get the right information, get the plan and commit long term because that is how you succeed in voiceover. And if you need information about my coaching, my training, the plan, the blueprint for success in voiceover, it's in the link below, in the, the, below the uh, description, in the description for this uh, YouTube video. So thanks for checking that out. Let's see who's on the uh, the stream this morning. We've got Phil in Tokyo who was first in. Hey, Phil, how are you doing today? Kathleen, good morning. Terry in Falston, Maryland. Rick Sadowski in Des Moines. Uh, Silette, how are you doing? Another one of our voiceover blueprinters in Newark, Delaware. Oh, and speaking of blueprinters, we've got lots of them on this morning. Rob, how are you doing? And lovely Loveland, or beautiful Loveland, great to be part of the Huddle, he says. Good to have you here, Rob. Sarah, good to have you here today from Wisconsin. John in Rhinebeck, GS in Washington. Uh, Atlanta checking in this morning. Hello there. Rebecca in Michigan. Scotty in South Dakota. Aaron in Columbia, Missouri. Sirius in Charlotte. Greg in Nashville, North Carolina. 
We've got, uh, let's see here, Aaron in Florida. Ring that bell. Great news. I got my first voiceover job from a local roofing company. 800 bucks for a 45-second ad. My first job thanks to direct marketing. That, that's a big bell ringer for you, Aaron. That is fan, 800 bucks on your first job for a commercial. That is fantastic. Direct marketing is when you reach out directly to prospective clients. And our next, my next live training event is going to be on, it's all about direct marketing. And it's going to be with my good friend um, and the man who has really perfected the art and the science of direct marketing, Todd Barsness, the man who owns a VO marketing pro.com. He is going to be doing that. T- our special guest instructor. It's coming up later this month. Your chance to register coming soon. So stay tuned for details. Ty in Warsaw, Indiana, MG. What's up in North Carolina, Sandra, Dallas, Fort Worth, Jason, Kearney, Nebraska, Mikhail in Maine, uh, Johnny in San Francisco, Melissa, San Diego, Joy, good morning from sunny, 55 degrees, Southfield, Michigan. Ralph, Cedar Falls, Iowa. Wayne, Port Orchard, Washington. Mike, what's up in Spanish Fort, Alabama? Ralph in Fresno, California. Barry uh, in Grand Rising. Barry in Grand Rising. Sorry, Barry. Thank you. Thank you for being here. James, how are you doing? Good morning in cloudy Austin, Texas. Uh, Mike, good motivational Monday to you in uh, York, Pennsylvania. Stacy, good morning, San Diego. The weekend flew by too fast. Boy, it always does, doesn't it? Jean in Dallas, Fort Worth. Merrill, good morning from sunny and summer like New Jersey. Gregory, good morning to you in Dallas, or I'm sorry, yeah, North Dallas. Rusty in the UP of Michigan. Joe, good morning in Rhode Island. Jason in Newport, Oregon. Maggie in soggy but sunny, Pittsburgh. Uh, Fawn, hello to you in sunny Florida. Samantha, what's up in beautiful Nashville? Wally in Maryland. Marla in Texas. We've got, uh, let's see, Mike says, oh, and I just got your new book. Oh, Mike, thank you for doing that. For those of you who haven't picked it up yet, there it is. There's a link in the description below. You can, you know, where you can just click and go right to Amazon to get the paperback. But also, you can get the digital download for less than nine bucks. I'm sorry, less than 10 bucks. It's like 990 something. Um, it's again, link below in the description. And you can also pick up the, um, the audiobook version of it down there too. Check it out. David in Gardner, Kansas, uh, Keith in Renton, Washington, Marcus, another great Monday and wise words from you. Thank you, Marcus. He says, thanks for all you do, Bill, like doubling a penny every day. Have a great day, sir. Marcus in Missouri. Yes, 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 yes. Theo, $1.4 million makes for a multi-motivational Monday. How do you do all from downtown Chicago? All right, Theo. Yeah, Anthony in Phoenix. Thanks for the encouraging words. I can't wait for that payoff. Sarah, this is really encouraging. I've been plugging away without a lot of success, but it's only been a month or two. Yeah, it's, and that's okay. Don't, again, you have to, you have to calibrate your expectations. You got to still do all the work. But the payoff begins to come further down the road. And the, and the further down the road you get, the bigger the payoff becomes for the same amount of work. Theo, y'all remember to smash that like button. Yes, sir. Um, Christopher in Dubuque. Uh, Gary says, I was wondering when you were on live. Well, there you go. Now you know. Hey, Bo, good morning. Hello from Hinsdale, Illinois. Very wise words, Bill. Commit in faith. Commitment and faith will move mountains. Indeed, it will. Guys, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Remember, always think about that compounding interest because that I didn't make that up, by the way. That's, I mean, it really, and Albert Einstein did call it the eighth wonder of the world because with time, consistency, and persistence, you can grow something far beyond your wildest dreams. Can't do it in a day. You can't do it in a week. But with a little bit of time, you certainly can do it and you will do it. So, Uh, Get to it. Have a great week. I'll be back tomorrow morning and we'll see you then. Have a good one.